Hello students welcome to the Rasayan Guru's lecture I am your Rasayan Guru Dr Chandramuli Sharma I hope you have already gone through my three videos on molecular rearrangement and the name reactions in that three video I discussed Hoffman rearrangement Wolf rearrangement Fry's rearrangement and now in today's video I am going to discuss the open R oxidation for this let's move to our class Welcome to my class students. In today's lecture, we'll discuss about the open R oxidation. Now, the first step of this reaction is what is open R oxidation? Open R oxidation is the conversion process of the secondary alcohol to keto by selective oxidation. The reaction is named after a scientist Rupert Victor Open R. these oxidation reaction generally occurs in presence of the aluminum alkoxide usually aluminum isopropoxide or aluminum tertiary butoxide in excess of the acetone or hexanone the structure of these two catalysts are just given on your screen this is the structure of aluminum isopropoxide and that is the structure of aluminum tertiary butoxide now next step of the reaction is its principle it is an aluminum catalyzed oxidation of the secondary alcohol to keto the reverse reaction of this is known as mervin pondorov wurley reduction it is also one of the best reduction It is a very good method to oxidize allylic alcohol to alpha beta unsaturated ketones. The main application of this oxidation is in pharmaceutical industry to produce many narcotic drugs such as cocaine, codeine and also this method is used to synthesized many steroids so it is having wide application in steroidal chemistry also next step of the oxidation is the reaction reaction is just given on your screen now here when secondary alcohol is reacted with the acetone in the presence of the aluminum isopropoxide then it would be converted into ketone plus to propanol from this reaction you can say that oh from the first compound will be transferred to second compound and ketonic group will be transferred from second compound to first compound so this is the reaction of the open r oxidation next step of the reaction is the heart of the reaction as usual mechanism before going on the mechanism first will understand its whole process the whole process is just given on your screen now first one is the this reaction is used to oxidize secondary alcohols to carbonyl compound for example simple ketone or cyclohexanone is used as a hydride acceptor in presence of the aluminum alkoxide generally aluminum isopropoxide or aluminum tertiary butoxide are used in this mechanism i have taken aluminum isopropoxide as a catalyst but you can also take the aluminum tertiary butoxide the oxidation is the exact reverse of the mervin pondorov wurley reduction and involves the deprotonation of the alcohol by equilibria with the alkoxide followed by the hydride transfer this equilibrium is generally displaced to right by using a large excess of hydride acceptor so by understanding these different steps we can now easily go on its mechanism step number 
in step number one reactant will react with the catalyst and our catalyst is aluminum isopropoxide as we all know that aluminum isopropoxide is having the three isopropoxide ions out of this three one isopropoxide ion is separated from the aluminum and these isopropoxide ion carries negative charge now due to the separation aluminum needs electron but don't worry because secondary alcohol is there in secondary alcohol oxygen is having two lone pairs of electron out of this two lone pair of electron one lone pair of electron of oxygen will be transferred on aluminum and it will produce protonated aluminum diisopropoxide of secondary alcohol along with the isopropoxide ion which is separated from aluminum isopropoxide in next reaction proton from the protonated aluminum isopropoxide of secondary alcohol will be transferred on isopropoxide ion and it will be converted into isopropyl alcohol and aluminum diisopropoxide of secondary alcohol step number 2 this is the key step for the whole mechanism and it will decide the product now aluminum diisopropoxide of secondary alcohol when reacted with the acetone then it is converted into six member chain like transition state which is just given on your screen and its simplified form is also given on the screen this transition state is short lived complex compound and due to short half life it is converted into ketone and aluminum diisopropoxide of the secondary alcohol this step is key step for the mechanism because in this step lots of changes occur as you see on the screen ketone which is present between the two methyl group is transferred between two alkyl group that is r1 and r2 along with this oxygen which is present on the carbon which is present between the two alkyl groups is transferred on carbon which is present in between the two methyl groups and produces aluminum isopropoxide of secondary alcohol now compare these two aluminum diisopropoxide of secondary alcohol in first one there are two alkyl groups r1 and r2 and in the product there are two methyl groups so there is a huge transformation of the atoms or functional groups that's why this is the key step of the mechanism step 3 in step 3 aluminum isopropoxide of the secondary alcohol when hydrolyzed then what happened first the bond between the oxygen and aluminum diisopropoxide will be broken and it is converted into isopropoxide ion along with the aluminum diisopropoxide ion in oh as we all know that h plus and oh minus both are present so h plus will be transferred 
on isopropoxide ion and it will be converted into isopropyl alcohol and OH of water will be combined with the diisopropoxide ion of aluminium and it is converted into aluminium diisopropoxide hydroxide and these aluminium diisopropoxide hydroxide when reacts with the isopropyl alcohol these isopropyl alcohol is obtained in step number one as a byproduct. This isopropyl alcohol we have taken in this step. And it is converted into aluminium isopropoxide and water. But the question is how? So the whole reaction and its mechanism is just given on your screen. OH and aluminium diisopropoxide ionized and it is converted into OH minus and aluminium diisopropoxide ion in which aluminium having plus charge. These aluminium plus charge will combine with the isopropoxide ion which is obtained from isopropyl alcohol and it is converted into aluminium isopropoxide and H plus from the isopropyl alcohol will combine with the OH minus which is obtained from aluminium diisopropoxide hydroxide and converted into water. In this step we can easily say that catalyst is regenerated because aluminum isopropoxide is taken as a catalyst. Next step is the application, most important part of the reaction. In first application, this reaction is particularly used to oxidize unsaturated alcohols because it does not affect the double bond. This is the most important application of this oxidation reaction. And it is justified by taking one example. When 6-methyl 357-octatrine 2-all undergoes the open R oxidation, then it is converted into 6-methyl 357-octatrine 2-on. In this oxidation, double bond does not affect. Only secondary alcoholic group is converted into ketone. Next application is this reaction finds a numerous application in steroid chemistry and it is justified by taking one example. Cholesterol undergoes open or oxidation and it is converted into cholesterol. Just observe on the screen. Last step of the reaction that is the limitations. Open R oxidation is having the number of important application but this method is having some important limitations. First limitation is open R oxidation is not a good method to prepare aldehyde since the basic medium induces the reaction between aldehydes and ketone for example aldol condensation and the second application is one of the biggest disadvantage of this method is high temperature large quantities of the ketone hydride acceptor and the production of aldol condensation products with hydride receptors
So students, this is all about the open R oxidation. In this oxidation, I have discussed its introduction, principle, reaction, mechanisms, applications, and limitation. I hope it will give you the better idea of this reaction. In next video, I will come with the new reaction. Till then, take care. Goodbye.